and welcome back, everyone. Um, let's wrap things up. So the concept map. Again, looking at this, we've discussed income. We've discussed expenses. We've done budgets. We've looked at income and expenditure statements. And finally, we've looked at budgets versus income and expenditure statements. Then, the words we looked at, commission, a fee charged for services, bonus, money paid to an employee as a reward for good performance, debt, when you owe money, no, deficit, expenses are more than income, also no, we don't want those two things, expenditure, money spent. Then we spoke of fixed income and expense, an income or expense that does not change every month. Income, money received. Interest, interest is money that is gained from an investment or owed from a loan. Let's move on. We spoke of investment, money in an account that earns more money later. Loan. Money that is received but needs to be, needs to be paid back with interest. <clears throat> Excuse me. Occasional income expense. An income that is received infrequently or an expense that is paid infrequently, not too often. And finally, there we got salaries. A fixed amount received by the employee for services rendered. Right. What else was there? Surplus. Income, more than expenses, keyword more, variable income or expense, an income or expense that changes each month, and finally, wages, money paid to the employee for services rendered over a short period of time. Let's see what else there is. Remember, a budget is not the same as an income and expenditure statement. A budget is estimations. Income and expenditure statement is actual values. Challenge. Let's see if you guys have this one. But I know, you know, I back you. Is it cheaper for you to take one friend to the movies twice or two friends to the movies at once? Thanks everyone for listening to me today. I really hope you guys learned something. I look forward to chatting to you guys again. Take care. Bye-bye.